Good morning. Um, it's about 7.19 here at Military History Fest, and uh, I'm a little late, but better late than never. So we're going to start with hair, and um, the dress that I'm wearing today is a replication of a dress in the Victorian Albert Museum. Um, they were kind enough to send me photos. <laughs> I had a couple yards of silk that was just in my random um, fabric stash, and when I saw it, I was shocked because it matched this specific gown in the collections. So, um, I really wanted to try and replicate it as close as possible with what I had. I knew I wouldn't have enough fabric to finish the whole gown, so I figured um, when I was guesstimating what I'd have enough for with piecing and things like that, and let me tell you, it's pieced, but that's historical, so, um, and I'm really good at historically piecing garments, but I knew I wasn't going to have enough for the sleeve decoration. At first I didn't think that was going to bother me, but now that I'm so close, before the V&A sent me pictures, there was no really good pictures of the pleating in the back, and um, it was really unique pleating, not like most 18th century gowns, and so um, it was kind of a shot in the dark, <laughs> and uh, so I had it all pleated, and I repleated it a couple times, and I um, talked it over with some professionals in the field, and um, just to make sure I was on the right track, and what they said, because it was so different that I knew that once it got out there, I'd be asked questions about it. Um, but everybody agreed with me that this is the way it needs to be pleated, and uh, so we did it, and then the V&A sent me photographs, and it matched 100%. So. So anyway, the gown is from like 1775, 1780. 